If you want to study, work or settle abroad, there are high chances that you want to give IELTS sometime soon, maybe IELTS Academics or IELTS General. Now, if you want to give IELTS, there's one question that will certainly come to your mind. Should you appear for IELTS conducted by IDP or British Council? Although the tests conducted by both these organizations are very similar, but these questions are very common that where can you actually score more points and uh, where the teachers are friendly, where the staff is friendly. All of these questions are always there. For all those people who are in India, these questions will no longer exist for you because British Council India would not be conducting IELTS in India anymore. So yes, we are going to talk exactly about that in this video. Uh, all those people who are in India, if you have booked the IELTS exam through British Council in the upcoming days, what's going to happen? We will talk all about that here in this video. If you're interested, stay tuned. Okay guys, today when I'm shooting this video, it's 1st of July and it's Canada Day. I know Canada is a dream country for all of you. So I want to wish a very happy Canada Day to all of you out there. I really hope that next year when we celebrate Canada Day, you are here with us in Canada. Okay guys, so as I told you, this is only for those who are there in India. British Council will not be conducting IELTS test of any type in India from 25th July 2021 onwards. And the tests will be conducted by IDP India. As there are only two organizations which conduct these tests, so going forward, it would only be IDP India, which will conduct the IELTS test, let it be the computer-based IELTS, let it be the paper-based IELTS, or maybe uh, IELTS for uh, UK, maybe IELTS for academics, maybe IELTS general. All forms of IELTS would be conducted by IDP India only. They will be the sole distributor of IELTS in India. What is the reason? Pandemic. British Council has said that because of the pandemic, the lockdowns, most of its English language schools and test centers have been shut down and they've suffered huge economic losses. So they'll be selling 100% of its business in India to IDP for a whooping 130 million pounds. Such a big number, you can understand how much big was this IELTS business for them, but because of the loss, they are doing it. Anyways, what will be changing for all of those people who want to give IELTS in the near future? If they have already booked a test with IELTS, what they should do? Let's discuss it now. So if you book the IELTS test with them, if it's a paper-based test before 11th of July or a computer-based test before 25th of July, then nothing will change. Uh, British Council will still conduct those tests for the next couple of weeks. But if the tests have been booked after that, so for the paper-based test, after 11th of July and for the computer-based test after 25th of July, then IDP India would be conducting those tests. Those tests will not be conducted by British Council anymore. And IDP would be getting in touch with you in the next one week to share the details about the change or if there are any other details that they want to share with you. Okay, now if you ask me if this is good or bad, I believe that there should always be a competition in the market now because IDP India is the sole distributor. Uh, they will be the only organization that will be conducting IELTS in India and IELTS is such a big business. IELTS test scores are recognized by over 10,000 institutions around the world. If you want to immigrate to an English speaking country, uh, maybe to work, to settle or to study, there are chances that you would need to submit your IELTS score. And in India, if there's only one organization conducting that, then there would be a monopoly for sure. I remember when I appeared for the test back in 2016, the fee was around 11,000 rupees. Now it's around 15,000 rupees. So in last five years, you can clearly see 4,000 rupees have been increased in the fee. And many people are not able to clear or get their desired bands in the first attempt itself. Even I appeared for IELTS twice. So if there's a monopoly in the market, then they can increase the price to whatever they want to. I'm pretty sure that they would be increasing the prices regularly in the upcoming years as well. And apart from fees and pricing as well, monopoly is certainly not good. There should be some competition in the market. But anyways, it's not something that we can control. 
if you want to appear for IELTS, you have to book it through IDP now and you have to give your best shot so that you can get your desired bands. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or any queries, please put it down in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer those queries. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, it's very important for me. Please click that subscribe button before moving on to the next video. It's absolutely free. Thanks again for watching this video.